Hi, my name's Matt. I am the and owner of Rage Cage Smash Rooms and now Rampage Axe Throwing. So, I've got some questions here. I've got to tell you a little bit about myself. I started Rage Cage Smash Rooms four years ago. I still don't have a definitive reason why, but essentially I saw the idea on a TV show and I thought, you know what, there's nothing like this in Brisbane and I'd previously done paintball, axe throwing, things like that in that same genre. And I thought this is gonna slot straight in. This is gonna be what people need. It's gonna be a lot of fun for me to work in and it will give me something to do for the rest of my life. <laughs> what made me want to apply and work at the Rage Cage? <laughs> I pretty much just covered that. But essentially, uh, Look, when I first started this, it was a fun endeavour. It was, I was at a crossroads in my career path as to what I wanted to do going forward. I'd, I'd worked for myself in, in other businesses in the past and I came to a crossroads and I decided that I would make a few batting cages. We'd throw some stuff in there, we'd get some people smashing, we'd film it, we'd see, see how that went. So that was four years ago and I started with two batting cages, basically in the backyard. Here we are now, four years later, we've got three venues and we've got uh, six, four, 14 rooms. Uh, and most of those rooms on a weekend are full and now we're venturing into axe throwing as well. So that's what I get out of Smash Room, seeing people come in and they're not 100% certain about their welfare or their mental state and they come out absolutely flying. They, they, they come out, they're smiling, they're happy, they've had the best time, and more importantly, they've relieved some stress. Leads on to the next one. What do I enjoy about working in Rage Cage? That's exactly it. So, the many jobs that I've had over my career and in the, in the past uh, 20 years I've worked for myself, there hasn't been one particular business that I can say unreservedly that my customer service level has been 100%. Customer satisfaction also 100%. With this particular job, I see people come in and they might be there for fun, that's cool, we can provide that environment. Or they may be there for something a little bit deep-seated, a little bit within themselves. We don't know that, but we can tell by their demeanor that they're not there specifically for a good time. That's what I get out of Smash Rooms. I see people come in, I see them uh, struggling with something. I don't know what it is and I don't buy into it, but we allow them and we build the, 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 the uh, environment for them to release. So we give them full range inside the rooms to let their emotions out. That's what I get out of Smash Rooms. I see the change in people and I see them come out much happier, much more uh, friendly and probably a better person to be around because they've been able to release some tension, stress, uh, depression, anxiety within our rooms. How has Rage Cage helped me? I tell you what, my building skills are getting better. <laughs> so, uh, I've had to change venues in Brisbane four separate times now. And during those changes, I've had to deconstruct one venue whilst building the next venue without turning the bookings off so that we could continue to roll people into the new venue. Um, and my latest venture out here in Ipswich, which is where we are now, uh, has been probably my most satisfying build to date. And I think that's because I've, I've, I've been able to start with a blank canvas and actually put into place how I actually wanted smash rooms to be rather than fitting them into a pre-existing space or a pre-existing area. And whilst I'm, I'm very um, humbled and thrilled with the spaces that I've got in both Hillcrest and Southport, if I had my time again, I would do them completely differently. However, we are where we are and we will continue to grow. So that's what Rage Cage has given me, the ability to be able to take uh, a plan on paper or out of my head and literally physically put it into place and then see people come and arrive at the facility or the venue that I've physically built and enjoy how I've built it. Um, it's a satisfaction that I can't put words on.
What's the best thing I've seen at Rage Cage? Uh, so, look, just recently, it was brought to my attention, and I guess I probably should have given this some thought earlier, that my staff also benefit from what it is that we offer. It, I don't know why it never occurred to me before. Um, I guess because I'm running at 100 miles an hour most days. However, to see the change in my own staff has been probably the best part of building these smash rooms. To bring people in who come in with a bubbly personality, but probably their own set of issues, and to see them blossom into a, a truly valuable asset, and then to start adding value to something that I've built. Adding value by way of a little bit of marketing here, or a little bit of flair, or a little bit of personality. And I'll give full license for all of that. But that's the best thing for, for the Rage Coach Smash Rooms for me, is to see the change in my staff, to see people grow within the environment that I've built. What's coming next for the Rage Cage? Well, uh, again, just recently, and probably within the last six months, I have, I, when I first started this, I just thought it would be a one-off thing. And then um, I took a leaf out of uh, a friend's business of, of uh, lumber punk axe throwing, and I've watched their expansion. Uh, and I've watched the way that they do things and how they're, they're slowly growing through Australia. And I thought, you know what, that's something I could probably emulate. So then I looked down the, uh, in the Gold Coast and I thought that'll be my, my first logical step after being in Brisbane. Uh, and that's, you know, after we've made a few moves in Brisbane, of course. So I, I started to branch out into Southport, uh, sorry, into the Gold Coast. And there was already a smash room down there that we knew wasn't doing particularly well. And they reached out to us and they were called the Smash Pit. So they reached out to us, we went ahead and had a meeting and I basically took over their business. We rebranded it, we added some value, we added some rooms and we added our juge. Um, so to take nothing away from the Smash Pit, they built those rooms, they got themselves into Southport and they did a fantastic job to there. We just bumped at a level and now we've, we've taken ownership of that whole area, which is really cool. So when I first started, I didn't have expansion plans, to be brutally honest. I thought one venue, it'll be something for me to do. It'll be really cool. Now we've got three venues uh, and literally you could call this our fourth venue. Um, we've got 10 staff. We've got people on the road doing pickups for us. What do I see the future of Rage Cage? We are going to expand. We're, we're looking at the north side of Brisbane um, and then we're gonna go further afield. We're, we're looking at Tasmania, we're looking at Perth, um, probably even, ta uh, even New Zealand. Um, I think we'll just, we'll keep expanding until we've covered all of the major cities and then maybe we'll go west and we'll start to help people who are outside of the major cities that don't particularly have access to something like this that do have mental health problems because of isolation. And we're, we're, we're here to, to offer a, an environment that allows people to de-stress in the safest way possible. So that's where I see Rage Cage Smash Rooms going. We're just gonna have more venues, we're gonna have more people, and we're always gonna have so much fun. Thank you for tuning in. Hi everyone, I am Steph, I'm the Operations Manager here at Rage Cage Smash Rooms. Uh, my turn to do the video, so I'm going to go through the questions. Um, what made me want to apply for Rage Cage? Well, I was actually in Turkey and I was like, look, I want a job. And I was looking at all the jobs and everything else seemed fucking boring. I'm not going to lie. This place seemed exciting. I emailed Matt. We had a chat and then I just thought it was the coolest place to work. I absolutely love it. So I'm glad I made that decision. Um, everyone just thinks, oh, you come in here and you break stuff, that's what you do on your job. It's not what we do on our jobs. But nonetheless, we freaking make people so happy that it makes me so happy every time I leave work. Um, so that is why I wanted to apply. And, and that is also what I enjoy from working at Rage Cage, which is the next question. Um, I just love making people happy. Like, it, everyone will leave the room. And they like exactly what Matt said. They come out and they're getting undressed and they're just like, yeah, that was so awesome. They're taking videos, photos, screaming. Like the first scream 
from every single smash. It literally, we're out in the back room and you can hear it over the music and I just absolutely love it. Like, it's just so good making people be able to feel okay releasing their anger in a healthy way. It's just, it's really great helping people. Um, how has Rage Cage helped me? I, look, honestly, I'm late to everything. So I've developed better time management, which is fantastic. But also, like, it's just made me really, more, like, a lot more positive because of the interactions I get with the people when they're leaving and even when they're coming, they're excited. Like it just, it's made me a lot more positive and just happy with my life, being able to work here. If I want to vent my frustrations, which is not very often, I can as well. Um, but it doesn't really happen that often. I'm just a lot happier from working here. And like the staff that we have, the team that we've built, it's just honestly amazing. Everyone is so positive and happy to be here. If there's a problem, we figure it out. Like it's just, such a positive workplace to be in, um, so I love it. And uh, what's the best thing you've seen at Rage Cage? I don't know what the best thing I personally have seen is, but seeing, like, not individually, seeing the first, like, big printer that I saw when we had those office printers, that was fucking sick. Because um, I didn't realize there was ink that came in them, and all the ink freaking came out, went everywhere. The people smashing it were like, whoa, this is fucking sick. And I was like, yeah, this is actually. That was so cool. Um, so that was really awesome. But then, like I said before, just seeing everyone smiles when they leave, that's amazing. Like, that's probably one of the best things that I see. Um, what do you see coming next to the Rage Cage? Expansion, exciting. <laughs> um, we definitely, like Matt said in his video, we're looking at expanding up north, taking over Australia, to be honest. Um, it's super exciting. We're just making Rampage, uh, which Matt talked about in his video. So check that out, Rampage Axe Throwing, um, a sneaky little app there. Um, but yeah, I'm just excited about expansion. I'm excited about growing the team for Rage Cage, which obviously we're going to have to grow the team a little bit more um, with the new venues that we have planned. So just expansion, expansion, expansion. But yeah, thank you, I guess. <laughs> I'm Kira, 18. I'm a university student and I really like cats, movies, reading and eating food. Um, what made you apply it once to work for Rage Cage? I thought it was very fitting. Um, it's a lot better than like hospitality, where you have to fake yourself and act professional, even though it is not a professional job or career in any sense. Um, yeah, I just thought it would be fitting. I thought that like Rage Cage was the right place for me to work. And what do you enjoy from working at Rage Cage? I really enjoy the open communication and how everyone can have a say, like an input and express their creativity. I was gonna say something else, but I forgot. Oh yeah, just, it's just really fun and like flexible. Um, how has Rage Cage helped you? I think it's helped me just feel like more relaxed at work and able to be myself more because of how carefree it is and just like relaxed I guess. Like it's pretty much you can do what you want as long as you get your job done and you do your job properly and you like I don't know, it's just, it's just a good laugh. Um, what's the best thing you've seen at Rage Cage? Probably the other day when an older woman came in, like probably grandma age, with who I'm assuming was her daughter. And her daughter was like buying her the Rage Cage session and was asking about like a membership. Cause I guess her grandma had like a lot of anger to get out. And I just think that it's cool that she was able to do that for her because I can imagine like she's used to mental health being very taboo. And I think that Rage Cage is just a really big step in the right direction for that because it prioritizes safety obviously, but then also mental health. And 
I think it's great. Like, it's always seen as just being angry in general is like toxic or bad. Wanting to break stuff is like a big issue. But I think it's like really normal. And I think it's funny that it's normal, but I don't know why it's like a bad thing. What do you see coming next for Rage Cage? Um, I see it expanding a lot and just having like way more venues and just being like way more popular like to the point where if you say like oh I'm going to like Rage Cage whoever you're saying that to will know what you're talking about because it's just like I feel like it's a little baby now it's just at the start right now but everyone who comes there really enjoys it and I think the more people that come here will understand what it is really and uh, they'll appreciate it because there's not really another place like Rage Cage that you can go to. Hi, I'm Chloe. I work at Rage Cage Hillcrest. Um, a little bit about me is that I am a proud lesbian woman. Um, I take my self-care very seriously and I love to listen to music in my free time. So what made me want to apply or work for Rage Cage um, was just that it was such an interesting environment, somewhere that I could have in a creative outlet as well as work hard and have a physical job, which is something that I really wanted at the time of applying. Um, and it's definitely fulfilled my needs in that sense. Um, and the things I enjoy about working here, I'd say, are the same. Being able to be physical, but not so physical that I am dying on the inside. Um, but I also get to like draw on TVs and make signs and like do this creative stuff that I love to do in my spare time, but at work and get paid for it. It's amazing. <laughs> um, Rage Cage helped me. Um, I think Rage Cage has helped me in a bunch of different ways, not only with just the people that I work with um, and the support that I receive from them, but um, just having a space where I'm not limited and I'm not constantly looking over my shoulder thinking like am I in trouble with my boss or something like that just because I've, I've decided to do something different that day um, just there's a lot of movement and there's a lot of just uh, support and that's something that I needed in a job and I've definitely got it here um, best thing I've seen the best thing I've seen at Rage Cage was probably today I had a 15 year old come in, um, request to put on some songs, and they did, they put on the, the songs, and as soon as they started, they were in the room screaming their lungs out and just letting everything out, and it's the most rage that I have seen in any of our coaches, let alone come from a 15 year old. It was awesome. It was really cool. Um, and what you see coming from Rage Cage. Like in the future? throwing. <laughs> um, I think I can see axe throwing coming because it's just around the corner. It's um, just over two weeks until we open the axe throwing so I'm really excited for that. I really enjoy the axe throwing. I had a lot of fun when we practiced um, at another venue and our own. It's really cool and I'm really excited to not only get to do it but work on it as well. Hey my name is Ozzy. I'm usually at the Southport Rage Cage venue. Um, I'm also a support worker, so this job kind of goes hand in hand, mental health and helping people. Um, I applied for this job because I thought it'd be something different and fun. I've worked at haunted houses and escape rooms before, so experiences are my thing. Um, I enjoy helping people with their mental health. Um, we'll just have fun. Also, listening to metal all day, it's pretty fun, it's pretty awesome. Um, the best thing I've seen at Rage Cage has been old women smashing their ex-wedding photos. Let it rip. <laughs> and uh, I reckon Rage Cage is going to expand across Australia. I reckon we're going to hit up uh, some different states. Hi, I'm Jacinta Campbell. I'm a Rage Cage employee. I'm probably one of the best they have now. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, I am a little bit of a crazy person, I'll tell you that. But what made you want to apply here? 
I seriously, one of my friends, they pushed me to do it. They said it would be the best job for me. And it took a lot of convincing to do. But once I was here, man, I tell ya, <laughs> they gave me so much. Like, I can't, I can't explain it. You guys will have to come in and like the environment and like, yeah, <laughs> hang on. What do you enjoy from working at Rage Cage? To be honest, I enjoy everything down to the cleanup, to building, to my talking to my colleagues, to the people that come in and hearing all the stories that are going on and like just down to everything. This place, Rage Cage, it is absolutely amazing from the the energy that it has down to the people that come in, like I can't even explain it. <laughs> How has Rage Cage to help you? Rage Cage help you. Um, I was in a really bad spot when I came into this place. Um, probably really close to death. So um, Rage Cage has taken me completely out of that spot. Um, to be here and to have somewhat of a sense of responsibility and um, just to know that I have a team of people that are supporting me every day and um, you know um where you are the place uh, sometimes the place where you um at, are out at life um can be really just not where you want to be and then um a door can open like this place and it can be absolutely everything that and more of what you ever thought that you could get sometimes you don't even think that you deserve it but um you're here and that's the main thing and Rage Cage has become a really big safety net for me. It's one of the only places I feel I can come and be myself. So yeah, Rage Cage is awesome for that. Um, oh, sorry mate. <laughs> What's the best thing you've seen at Rage Cage? The best thing I've seen at Rage Cage is probably a piano getting smashed. <laughs> um, what do you see coming next for Rage Cage? I see the most amazing expansion coming. I see the greatest people coming in and I see this going beyond what anyone could ever imagine. This is going to make it to America. This is going to make it all over the place because this is going to be the next big thing for mental health. So stay tuned because we're coming. <laughs> Tell us a bit about yourself. So I'm a content creator. I've been a content creator for probably 15 years now. Um, I literally make content for businesses, whether it's for Rage Cage or Rampage or for other clients. Uh, my passion is to get businesses seen who may not have been seen before. They've got a great idea like what Rage Cage has. And it's need a bit of help making that content and getting it out there to the public. What made you apply to work for Rage Cage? So it's actually a very interesting story. Um, it really is. So I'm not a big, big person to believe in networking and nor is Matt the owner of Rage Cage. And uh, I turned up to a networking event. I'm really not. <laughs> because I thought, you know, why the fuck not? And uh, Matt was the same. We're, everyone's in suits and ties, and me and him are like a normal t shirts and you know, everything else. And he stood out because he was him. It was who he is. He wasn't some person in a suit and tie. This was who he was. When he, when he goes, I do Smash Rooms, I'm like, what the fuck's a Smash <laughs> Room? Like, he goes, come see me, Maruka, and I'll show you around the place. All right, next day I've gone to Maruka and I've met Matt and uh, gone down there and I, I fell in love with the place with what they do um, you can go there and have fun and let some steam off or if you've got some mental health things that are bothering you and you're having a hard time come in and you know break things and I could see a real passion for what Matt had and the vision he had and uh, this is going back over two years ago now I could see the visions he had for the content he wanted created and the environment you could make content was incredible um, so to see where he's come from, you know, the store back in Baruka two years ago to where he is now is incredible. The amount of people that we're helping out there um, and coming in to smash stuff is really, really cool. So I'm, I'm lucky to be working for, you know, a really cool company um, that really strive, you know, with mental health and helping people out there. What do you enjoy? Well, I've pretty much <laughs> covered it before. I enjoy everything. So I've done the customer service side of things. I've, I've helped with you know, moving the venues. I've helped you know, build and take down venues. Um, and I've seen them move across to where we are today. And 
it's come a long way and, and I like every aspect when you talk to customers and learn why they're in here what they're struggling with so making content to show what we do and really you know I guess to have a really cool platform to have content um, and then build and take things apart there's so many roles in rage cage that you can do that work wonders for everyone how has rage cage helped you um, rage cage has helped me a fair bit um, over the last 12 months I've gone through a pretty shitty time uh, even before then um, and if it wasn't for rage cage and having them there as a you know, support you know having an amazing team around me um, and having an amazing boss and owner but having the ability just to go in and just break shit um, rather than breaking someone's head pretty much um, it, it really has helped me um, i'm not a big believer in going to pay for a counselor i don't think it helps um, go in and grab a crate and smash it and i felt so much better for it and if I didn't know Rage Cage around, then it would make things very, very difficult. What's the best thing you've seen? Well, I've seen some things over my time. I've seen car smashes. I've seen pianos. I've seen people come in not talking. I've seen people leave and smiling. I think the big, biggest thing for me is people leaving with a smile. They come in and they leave with a smile. And they all have an amazing time and they thoroughly enjoy what they do. Where do I see Rage Cage? I see them expanding going forward and uh, getting bigger and bigger and opening more venues and uh, helping more people with mental health. Um, if you're yet to check out Rage Case Smash Rooms, I highly recommend to book in a session. You will thoroughly enjoy it and have an amazing time. See you guys soon.